everyone welcome back to another pick of art reading today's reading is your summer adventures we're going to have a look into your summer energy your energy throughout the summer from june to july to august then we're going to have a look at what might be your adventure exciting uh events that are going to happen during this summer for you okay so we have four the groups this is group one group two group three in group four, use your intuition, do not overthink it. So you can find the corresponding timestamp in the comment section. Personal reading information is down below in the description box. I'll see you in your group. Hi, group one, welcome to your reading. So let's see which card you get here. Wow, you have 10 of pentacles. Okay. So what are your summer adventures? <laughs> First of all, money coming in. Um, You have a lot of money to spend you have a lot of money at your disposal i don't know if you want to purchase something but it feels like you either you want to purchase a car or you want to purchase a house either you want to spend a large sum of money but the great news is you will have what you need to make this purchase or make this spend um money looks very good for you in this summer so let's take a look of your energy your vibe throughout the summer death wow a lot of transformations a lot of endings a lot of goodbyes a lot of cleansing as well let me clarify this yeah we have the hand one let me clarify what is this the the death card child of wands I'm getting some of you, you're going to sell your property, you're going to sell your house, and then you're going to relocate. It's very interesting. I get a strong, like a property, real estate kind of vibe in your group. This group has something to do with where you live, where you live, your living situation here. So the overall energy of you in this summer would be there's definitely something happening with your living situation with your physical environment there is a very heavy energy gone there is a very heavy burden i even hear will be moved out from your life you will be relieved from something that way that weighed really really heavy on you because this Child of Wands energy is definitely, totally very different from these two cards. I'm getting something really, really heavy here. But there is a very, like an outburst of energy. Very light. Very uh, fast. Very speedy here. So, um, of course, you will, you will move. So, this move could be literally moving. This move could be taking a trip. Uh, embarking on a journey but the main message i'm getting here is your energy is starting to move into um a different kind of situation it's very different it was really heavy it was really dense before all buckled all bottled um, bottled up but there will be a release of energy here um okay i feel this whole transformation thing because the death is something that's going to change something that's going to transform okay um and child of wands why i feel it's a location change in ten of pentacles it feels like something you've already um you're quite settled there, but somehow something needs to change here. So for a lot of you, I feel this summer, you will start your relocation process or you will go travel um, and or you will move. So this is or you will sell a house. Something about this, this vibe. Um, let me see what are other information in regarding to your summer adventures. Thank you, universe, for group one. What's going on for group one? 
this has something to do with your family as well your lineage your ancestor a lot of ancestral karma being released i feel there's something about your fam yeah family family is something that wants to come out it's something happening within your family something changed within your family probably this is not i feel it's more an energetic thing like like a more energetic thing like i was saying like ancestral patterns being broken in a good way you're released from some kind of free ancestral or um generational trauma you're released from generational karmic chains feels like this so let's see the three cards we have five of pentacles we have seven of wands and we have two of cups your summer adventures group one if you had bad luck in regarding to romance relationships uh, this reading somehow gives the message that they, this has to do with some ancestral karma or ancestral wounds there was something about that which affected your love life tremendously but i feel this summer you will have this golden opportunity to heal from that and also your ancestral trauma has a deep effect on your money on your finance so um i'm mainly getting that this ancestral thing had a really impact profound impact on your money and on your love because there's something going on in your venus <clears throat> Because these are relationships and money, love and money, it's all Venus sectors. Okay, it's all what Venus is about. Um, so I feel there's something about your Venus, like probably you will, on my top, on the top of my mind, I could imagine you probably have like Venus squaring Pluto, Venus squaring something squaring uh maybe saturn venus is squaring i feel it's in these main mainly it's these two planets strong pluto or saturn energy this has something to do with the plant current planet transit as well but somehow it will affect your venus energy so i feel in this summer there was there it will be a tremendous golden healing opportunity coming up for you to heal whatever that's around your venus which is financial stability your money your abundance and your love life so group one if you want um you will probably meet someone new definitely new um like a romantic interest you will meet someone new because i don't feel this is repairing something i feel this is starting something so you will feel at peace you will feel peaceful towards your past experiences and when you think about your exes you don't have the grudges anymore you don't have the strong hatred or strong feelings against them anymore you will feel at peace so something about your love something about how you feel about love how you feel about relationships this will be healed and if you go a step further, you probably will have the opportunity to start a romance, to start a new relationship. So this is one of your adventures, but it doesn't apply to everyone because I feel for this group, it doesn't apply to everyone. Um, but it could be applying to everyone that with the five of pentacles, you will work over your fear around money issue. You will work around, you will work out your fear about money about not having enough about this lacking mindset but it this is something you have to like consciously pushing through 
that because with the seven of wands this is not given i feel this opportunity is given but how this will manifest is something you have to push through so there is this window so that's why i feel this message doesn't apply to everyone because everyone is different it all depends on how you utilize this opportunity how much effort you can put in or how much awareness you have or how deep you you understand your issue or how much work you are willing to put in it all depends on you so i'm seeing here you're given this opportunity it feels like you're given this opportunity to open this door but will you how much do you want to push the door open and walk into this and then do all kinds of stuff it all depends on you so if you want to work in love there's love if you want to work in finance if you want to work in relationship with money your fear towards not having enough then this is what you want this, this is what you will have but it, so it all depends on your how how far you can go it basically says that seven of wands tells me it depends on how far you can go and i really feel it is time for you to actually give yourself a push give yourself a nudge try a little bit more maybe you think oh my god i'm so tired maybe this is enough seven of wands is like try a little bit more give me one more it's like you're doing sit-ups like give me one more because there's something that you can have a little bit more you have more sp strength than you think but do not overwork yourself okay but seven of wands is an energy of fighting for something you know and um i feel you're the black sheep of your family here <laughs> and i know this is a big turn of uh message um somehow i'm looking at this seven of wands these are six and you have one so um i think you're the black sheep of your family here and you you just people from your family they probably don't not un, don't understand what you're doing but subconsciously you make them so impressed and that's not important the most important the most important is you unlike them you somehow are released from this generational karma generational karmic chain you are released from that this is what i'm seeing here so if you look into your family probably you will find maybe your cousins or your aunts or your uncles um they will they probably share similar stories around money and love probably the stories are similar so for this group you can actually have a look that's because there is some some uh family dynamics and some family ancestral energy going on generational trauma going on but i don't think you're the one i think you're the one who are chosen to heal you're the one who is chosen to heal um and you're the lucky one because you've done the work you are awakened enough and uh, i think you're different from so this summer i feel you will feel your life trajectory trajectory is like slowly slowly differentiate from the rest of your family you will see like your destiny will actually separate this is you and this is the rest of your family and you will set on a path a journey that they are not familiar of you're not familiar of as well so it requires a lot of courage but it's definitely something you want because with the two of cups it's talking about love and the five of pentacles i feel this wolf actually has an ambition has a goal so i feel you're this lonely wolf because your dream is much bigger than the rest of your family or the people you know for a long time like childhood friends because you have a bigger vision you have a bigger ambition and those people they don't so somehow the universe sets you alone on this path it feels lonely but it's definitely re rewarding and this separates your destiny you will witness yourself differentiate separate from 
a lot of people you know for a long time. It doesn't have to be family. It could be childhood friends. It could be people, friends you know for a long time. Um. And with the two of cups, cups, I just feel you will heal a lot with uh romantic relationships or relationships in general. So if you want love, there might be. Um, but if you don't want meet you don't if you don't want to meet anyone, that's absolutely fine as well because I feel this healing doesn't require another person. This is something. You will heal within you, and meeting someone and having a beautiful, healthy connection is just a matter of time. Sooner or later, you will have that. Okay. So wow, this is a, such profound reading. I like this reading so much. Thank you so much, Group of One. Uh, thank you for watching, and let me know what you think. Um, that's our reading today. Um, personal reading information is down below in the description box, and I will see you next time. Take care. Hello group 2, welcome to your reading. So let's see which card you get here. Wow, you have four of swords. So first of all, this is summer. Finally, you will have the time to rest. Um, probably you've been crazed for such a long time and you didn't have time for yourself. Um, so what I'm getting, most of all, the great news is finally you can take a break. Finally, you can rest. Okay. Um, Right, so let's see what is your vibes during this summer. Thank you, universe. What is your vibe during this summer? We have five of pentacles. Yeah, I feel you've been crazed about money. Like you are just you were just so busy making money and uh and you're pretty exhausted from all the working. So let's see your vibes. Yeah, definitely I feel like yeah, you'll go travel, you will go you have the opportunity to go somewhere else for relaxation. You will spend a holiday to recharge. Your summer vibes just feel so beautiful. Ace of Cups, you're full of... I just feel you will feel so curious again about the world. You feel so... You see the colors matching the desk, like this pink, soft... I feel you will see a lot of beautiful sunsets during this summer already. I feel maybe you will go somewhere near the water, like to a river or to an ocean. You will see a lot of beautiful sunsets or sunrise. There's a lot of connecting with nature in your energy during this summer. And there's a, a lot of energy of doing physical exercises or you. it doesn't have to be like training in the gym. It could be just hiking in the mountain walking by the river something so that's so natural that, that that doesn't require any equipment or location you can just do any anywhere but a lot of movements a lot of movements your body will feel very active this summer and full of energy so if you were so depleted this summer you will feel recharged revived because of all the nature healing and because of all the exercises. So this is your summer vibe. I guess very strong like a holiday away. A holiday near the water or near the mountain. Could be near the mountain as well. But I see a lot of stars like watching the stars and watching the clouds and watching the sky. The sky some, some, somehow your reading is about something very beautiful about the sky. You'll spend a lot of time watching the sky. Yeah. Okay, so your summer adventure. Group 2, what is your summer adventure? Ah, this reading is so exciting. What is your summer adventures? Adventures, because probably we have multiple. Yeah, Six of Swords. Very strong air energy. Yeah, I think he would just set everything aside. Like, I'm having this image of you putting everything away. Like, I don't want to deal with this now. Let me just take a break for myself. Let me just take my well-being on top of my priority for a while. I don't care. Let me deal with that later. Maybe later when I have more energy, I will deal with that. So, again, I feel you will have this balance mindset i think this is a very transformative change of perception 
within you. So maybe before I really feel somehow you're a little bit workaholic because you somehow thought if I don't work, I don't have enough money, then I don't have enough money. How can I be abundant? Like you're operating from fear and the mindset of lacking. But I feel this transformative change happens when you finally realize I am the one who actually matters. If I am well, I'm going to attract abundance. It doesn't matter if I work a lot or not a lot. It doesn't matter how much effort I force myself to put. It matters is how I feel. My vibration will change, will attract abundance for me when I feel good, when I feel happy, when I feel healthy, abundant, not tired, in a good mood. I will automatically attract abundance to me. So I don't have to actually work or overwork because I really feel somehow you overworked before. And I feel this change of mindset really is beautiful and it's crucial. It's very crucial during the summertime. And you will realize balance is so important and putting yourself first is the most important. So without even seeing your cards, I already get so much information. Let's see your cards. Yeah, temperance. Exactly. This is what I was talking about. You see, this is fire and this is water and they meet in the common ground in the middle. So there is a that there is a balance and temperance is about having some kind of restriction in order to have more freedom and have some kind of harmony and to have something in moderation, right? I feel you will learn how to regulate your physical body, how to regulate your daily routine, how, you, how to regulate your diet, your sleep, how to regulate your physical exercises, how to reg regulate your mind. This is something about regulation. This is what I was talking about. I feel this summer, the beautiful thing is you will learn how to master your energy, master your body, because you will realize this is the most important. What you do is just something that's set off from who you are. And who you are is the core. So being in harmony, being in balance, this kind of yin and yang balance energy is so important. I feel this is what you will realize. Okay, there's there's this big revelation here with the Ace of Cups. I feel somehow like maybe because before your heart chakra was somehow it needs some kind of repair, and this summer you will be able to repair it. And you will hit this revelation and then re you will you will be full again. Because when we're not full, when we're constantly eager to latch on something or um, to have something because we were not fulfilled, right? That was empty. But I feel before you didn't know what was empty. So you fulfill that empty part with overworking, overthinking, pushing your physical limits, Okay, not respecting your body's responses for some of you it could be the case. Exhaust yourself. But I feel through the summer, during the summer, what will happen is you will actually be able to fulfill that part, that empty part, to give in that part of what it exactly needs, not by this codependency, like overworking is sometimes is codependency as well. Um and get into this really harmonious and balanced energy here. I really like this. Okay, what else? Yeah, the Empress. The Empress. Yeah, exactly. So this is about self-love. This is about self-love and self-care. I think you will just pay a lot of attention to self-care, self-love during this summer. And for from this energy, I could tell during this summer, you will glow up. You will just you will look so good okay you will look so good and i feel you will just like a big literally become a more beautiful person <laughs> um if you want to lose weight if you want to um if you want to hit a physical goal like we did a reading before if you want to hit a physical goal if you want to hit a training goal if you want to lose weight build up your muscle any kind of this you can achieve 
So this is definitely good news because I feel your balance, your energy will get so balanced and so healthy, regulated. Something will be regulated, and there's an end. There's a feeling of you can master. You are the master of everything. Before probably the work controlled you, your life controlled you. Instead of you controlling your life, your life controlled you. So I feel during the summer, this is reversed. This is finally what it's supposed to be. You control your life. You control your mind. You control your body. You do not let other things control you, especially those bad habits like overworking, overeating, um, or some other addictions. You do not let those control you, because you can master yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this energy. Again, a lot of nature healing. Um, yeah, ten of pentacles. Wow. So money coming in as well. Money coming in with this kind of energy. Money, of course, will come in because when you put yourself first, when you put your well being first, when you put your feelings, how you feel first, when you actually check with yourself, like I'm, I feeling all right. I want to feel all right before I can do everything. When you put yourself first, this will come automatically. So, to sum up, I feel for this group, this is mainly talking about your health and your well-being in general. Your physical appearance will glow up, for sure, um, and I think your health will be restored. And the most important is that you will learn the lesson how to be with yourself. How you can control everything, not control, like not in a very control freak way, but like I am the empress in my world. Everything has to make me feel good. I have to give the consent to anything, or um, everything that makes me feel good. Anything doesn't make me feel good that has to live this kind of life, you know, um. Yeah, basically running your life like a business, like a company, this kind of thing. And you're the only boss. Um, and putting your well-being first. And then I feel you will have the opportunity to travel somewhere. For some of you, you're going to travel abroad. Uh, for some of you, I feel it's near the ocean, near the water. And I feel either, even though probably it's not traveling abroad, but this is a environment a location that's very different from where you were and i feel um you will feel tremendously beautiful you will feel this beautiful energy from within um and money will come in as well okay so group two this is your beautiful reading um very very healing as well very healing six of swords is talking about healing so i hope this is what you need and um, let me know what you think. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Personal reading information is down below in the description box. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, group three. Welcome to your reading. So let's see which card you get here. Wow, you have Explore of Wands. Um, I love this. So in the summer, you will uh, spend a lot of time going out. This is for sure. Um, probably you'll go traveling, but if you're not go going to travel, as I see you have a lot of activities. Uh, you will have a lot of opportunities to go out to uh, just hang out with your friends or do something else outside. There's a lot of outside and sunny energy. Um, and um, I don't know if you want to work on your body, but I see if you are, if you want, this could happen as well. Like you will do a lot of physical exercises um okay let me see more because this energy well let me see more what is your vibe group three in the summer thank you universe what is group three's summer vibes okay so i only have five pentacles again um okay Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So, group three. Your summer vibes are kind of interesting. Let me explain to you. I feel... Like, I thought... I have to admit, before... When I only saw this 
explore of wands. I thought you probably will go travel and have a lot of fun. However, now I feel you will do that for sure. But the most important is you will be focusing on your money and building your finance. Okay, you will actually the energy kind of like it doesn't contradict themselves okay these two concepts doesn't contradict because you know when you feel good when you're active of course money is going to come in so what i'm seeing here is subconsciously or unsubcon unsubconsciously your focus or your thoughts is actually on how to change your life and i think you realize the most important thing the key factor to change your life, to transform your life, to change your life into another life. Like totally give yourself a new life. The key is money. So I feel this summer, you will be automatically focusing on working on your finance, focusing on working on your money. This is automatically, okay? This is like a, this is constantly 24 seven happening. Maybe you're asleep, but your energy is doing that for you somehow. I don't know. The information is like this. The message is like this. Because the magician, it feels like you've already set your mind and your attention on manifesting money. Okay? So somehow this summer comes to that time that it's time to move your body. Okay? It doesn't contradict because this is a phase of your life. Probably you've gone through it in other phases, like, I don't know, other phases, working on your limiting beliefs, um, working on your relationships. But this phase, this is summer, is that phase that you work on your body. You work on the moving. You work on moving. Somehow, I feel like the more you move this summer, the more you move your body, the more you go out, the more you don't sit still or you don't be still the more money you generate. So this is a very crucial message. Probably you want to, yeah, <clears throat> listen to the message again. Somehow the more you move, the more active, dynamic you are, especially your physical body is, more money can come towards you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see your some adventures. This is interesting. Yeah, death. Okay. Group three, what is your summer adventures? Yeah, money is a pentacles. This is about money. Um, because I really feel you set the intention to invent invent reinvent your life somehow. I get this energy. Like I want to have a new life. I want to say goodbye to the previous life, the lifestyle. I'm not I was not happy. I'm ready for a new life. And I feel this is talking about the new life. But the key is pentacles, is money. So we have the death. We have the sun. It's, yeah, exactly. We have the hierophant. Wow, such a powerful reading. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so um, first of all, great news, group three. I think either you will learn something significant to unlock your abundance or either you will meet someone who will teach you some precious knowledge give you precious lessons give you something really really valuable that unlocks your abundance this is talking about your abundance and if and i feel there is something that was locked the reason why you cannot tap into a more abundant reality was something was locked. You didn't know there was a piece of information you didn't have. But this summer, your adventure is this information. You will have access to it. And finally, you can unlock something. Not only you can un unlock abundance, but also I feel with the sun, um, there is this energy. It's like your physical body. It, because our physical bodies are containers, right? I just feel your physical body as a container ha will have more capacity. 
right? So the less capacity you have, even though sometimes you want more money, you cannot contain that. You cannot bear the energy of that much money. So when your physical body is ready for much more money, it can contain much more money. It will not over be overwhelmed by a lot of money. Then it's ready. You will receive more money. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I feel this is what's will what will happen in this summer for you. I don't know. I feel it. It could be this. Feels like a mentor, <clears throat> an instructor, a a um a teacher, someone. I feel there is someone's energy. That will be very significant to you in this summer. It does. It's not romantic. It could be romantic. I don't know. But mainly, it's talking about this kind of mentor energy will help you to build up the your physical body and help you to unlock your abundance, so that you will get ready for a new reality. This new reality is huge. We have the magician, and we have death. So it's basically reinventing your life, transforming your life, reinventing your life. For some of you, you're in between jobs. For some of you, you want to relocate. You want to just. For some of you, you're now divorced, and you want you just want to begin new, have a second life. This kind of energy, and I see during the summertime, um, this is happening. This is happening.、Um, I feel this could be through a person, or this could be through reading as well. Also, this could be some through some sort of learning. But you will definitely learn some knowledge that will help you unlock this because this was locked, so you are not you were not supposed to tap into that. But now it's supposed it's a it's exposed to you. Revealed to you, so now you can do that. So with the sun here, with the sun with the ex explorer of wands, which is knight of wands, I get a lot of feeling that this summer you will have a lot of lot of opportunity to connect with the sun. So this could mean you will have a lot of outdoor activities, as I said. Exposing yourself, self, and under the sun, like tanning yourself, having some bath, some bath, some bath, some bath, um, and the sun will heal you tremendously. I don't know about like diseases, but I feel this could be really good for healing like chronic diseases. Somehow, this energy is, this message is, okay. Disclaimer: Read the disclaimer. Okay, I'm not giving any medical advice, but. Somehow, like the sun, I feel it's very good for you if you connect with the sun more, and it has something to, something to do with your identity because the sun is also our solar plexus chakra. So, I feel you will work on your identity. You will work on your self value. You will work on like finding who you truly are, and you will work on your solar plexus chakra, and just connect with the sun to connecting with the sun. Exposing yourself under the sun, somehow is really really beneficial to you.、Um, and spend a lot of time outdoors instead of stay indoors is really important to you. I feel the more sunlight you get, the more energy you you borrow or you you retrieve from the sun. I feel the sun is blessing you basically.、Um, the more energy you retrieve from the sun. More abundance can come to you. More knowledge you will have, and this will speed up your manifestation. Yeah, this is very interesting. Let me see if there is any other message. I really feel your health. Something in your body will die away, like chronical symptoms, chronic diseases will die away. And your your body will feel, re,、uh, like, reset. There is kind of like reset feeling of your whole body. Yeah, 
yeah, that's pretty much group three. This message is powerful. Let me know what you think. Um, comment, like, share, subscribe. If you need a personal reading, you can find the information down below in the description box. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, group four. Welcome to your reading. Finally, let's see which card you get here. Ooh, we have ten of wands. Okay. So probably right now you're under a lot of pressure, you're under a lot of burden, you feel it's so heavy. Um, you can't wait summer to come because you, you just want everything to end and you know everything will end. It feels like your life is going towards an end in a way, not literally, but in a way, metaphorically speaking. You know this is to heading towards an end and... Like finally you can relax or finally you can you can have such a big relief but it's not coming yet but you know it's coming so let's see what are your vibes during this summer thank you universe for group four what are your vibes in the summer i just feel your yeah, nine of cups wow beautiful so i feel there's an energy of you are carrying on a lot, a lot of things that don't even are supposed to be yours you're carrying somebody else's weight and it feels like it's a little bit unfair but finally you decide to move this finally you decide i'm done i don't want to carry anybody's weight on me this is not my responsibility so i i'm ready to let this go so let's see what are your summer vibes yeah yeah six of wands and the hierophant yeah I feel group four, if you thought you were carrying on responsibilities or something that doesn't belong to you, you are right. Because we have 10 to 6, meaning you throw away four ones. And these four ones, they don't belong to you. They belong to somebody else. Maybe they belong to your partner. Maybe they belong to your parents. I feel... You will carry on somebody else's way that, that that doesn't belong to you. And it doesn't matter if these people know it or not. It doesn't matter if these people just want to take the advantage of you. But the good thing about this is finally you are going to get rid of those four extra weights. And you can thrive. Okay, there is an energy of you thriving. Also with the Hierophant. So with the four of wands, group four, interesting, we have four wands gone. Yeah, four of wands, that card was talking about family. So maybe that this was talking about, this is talking about the burden of your family. So for some of you, group four, you are actually carrying on the burden of your family that you shouldn't have. And finally, you realize it's not for me. Yeah, because Heaven is talking. This card traditionally is talking about family, is talking about community, is talking about conventions and traditions. So I feel, in a way, you were limited because you believed in those con conventions. You believed in those traditions. And those, you think, those were important for you. But then I think your the summer your summer vibes it feels like you will form a new one you will form a new tradition you will form a new it it's talking about morals as well morality it's talking about what's moral and what's not more moral what's good and what's evil and I feel with the change because you definitely is going through some kind of change so I feel you are forming a new moral system that the old one doesn't apply anymore. So maybe you put your family at first before, and then you realize you should put yourself first, not your family, yourself. Something like this. I feel this is, let me see. I feel this is a change of your value system because the Hierophant really is talking about value system. What do you consider the most important and what you consider moral? Something about moral here. So maybe you thought before lying. This is a bad example. Something about moral, anyway. 
I feel this is so different to everyone. But、um, a moral, generally speaking, is a value that's commonly and widely shared by the majority of one society within a certain cultural context, right? But this value could be completely evil, could be considered completely wrong or evil or、uh, nonsense by another society that's under another cultural umbrella, that's under another cultural context, right? So I really feel this is talking about you having a new value system. The old one just shed away. Because they don't apply anymore, and it's about family. Because I really feel there is something about family. Check group one, group four, if you want to. Because I feel maybe group one has a message for you as well. And it's giving you a lot of headaches and burdens and even hurts because the ten of wands. I feel the the sticks here are quite offensive and quite aggressive. I feels like keep poaching you somewhere. It makes you really really uncomfortable. It keeps you, like. It doesn't. It's not a respectful energy somehow. I feel like this. It's quite aggressive and it's quite, um, heavy. Chaotic, but with the six of wands, I feel finally you can see what is white and what is black. But but before like, white is here, black is here, all is blended, it all is chaotic. But with the six of wands, it's like white is white. It's this side, the right side is black, so I can separate. I can separate, meaning I can. Differentiate. I can. I give judgments by myself, not according to other people's. Yeah, the the、uh, hierophant could be talking about authority. The society also could could talk about parents. Like seniors in your family, someone who is senior, who has the power, who has some kind of power. But the six of wands gives me the feeling like I am going to tell what is right, what is wrong, not according to anyone else, not according to the authority or the society or my parents. This is me differentiating, distinguishing what is wrong, what is not, what is wrong, what is right, what is good, what is bad. I have my own value system, and I can have clear judgment. Interesting. Okay. Um. And most of all, six wants is your success, what you want. So I feel for for. Somehow, like you finally put your personal achievements, or you you finally put your personal success, your success, your ambitions, your goals, your goals first, first in front of everything. Maybe before you didn't, but somehow, this is your transformation. Let's see what are your adventures. Group four, thank you, universe, for group four. What are your summer adventures? Wow, ten of cups. Yeah, it definitely talks about something because we have two tens. So ten is a phase ending. So yeah, there is definitely something that's going to end for sure. Um and a. An old cycle ends, a new one begins. But also, I feel there's something about the family dynamics here. Okay, so let's see the card. Yeah, four of wands. Finally, it came. <sighs> Interesting. Interesting. Um, the strengths. Child of wands. Wow. Wow. This is all about wands. Very fiery energy, and strength is a Leo card, which is also wants energy, and Hierophant is an Earth energy. So this is a, yeah, this is like an old and new conflict thing because I feel like the Earth could represent authority, conventions, traditions, family values, because Earth like what's practical, what's traditional, what's. Mundane, you have to follow the rules, um, and the fire energy is like no, I don't want to follow the rules. I want to be rebellious because I want to be happy. If the rules restrict me, then f the rules. 
um, I want to have my own independence. I want to have my life. This sort of thing. So, group four. I wonder if you have like a really. I don't know if this is a inner conflict or outer conflict. You have like a battle going through right now. The when the old meet the new. Something just don't fit, and it will collide and will crash, but it will create something new, and um. You will have to choose a new direction somehow. Yeah. Let me have a look at these cards. Four of Wands, Strength, Child of Wands. Mm, okay. Uh, the first message I'm getting here is group four finally you will realize um how to say this you can survive you are strong enough you're powerful enough to survive in any kind of situation maybe before you thought i can only survive in those circumstances um maybe you before you thought you were really a fragile flower that can only survive in a certain temperature a certain degree of humidity thing like a very delicate specific situation you have to have that condition given to you very specifically in order for you to survive but i feel in this summer you will realize you can survive in any situation because you are that powerful sometimes the weather is extreme sometimes the weather is good it doesn't matter as long as you keep being who you are you can anyhow survive like i feel the ten of wands also was talking about a test of your strength this was a test this was a test of your tenacity your strength your, your persistence your endurance given by the universe and i feel you are going to pass this test because the six of wands is a feeling of having some sort of a victory so I feel the universe, yeah, the Hierophant could be talking about something spiritual and religious as well. I just feel there is a test given by the universe and you will pass the test because you're so persistent. And you will realize and actually what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? This is the energy I'm getting. So you will realize what doesn't kill you will make you stronger that you can survive in any kind of situation especially before you thought you had to had some circumstance in order for you to survive but then you realize you don't need to latch on anything so this could be talking about codependency because before you thought i was enough i'm just giving you an example i was not enough and i had to have this that this to make me enough to make me a whole to make me complete in order to me for me to survive and i feel for this summer what you will realize is i am enough already me right now here i don't need anything from outside world i am enough i am a whole i am complete already enough okay this is already done i don't need extra things i don't need to to eat extra things i don't need to depend on extra things i don't need to depend on anybody else i can be on my own and i'm good so four of wands is talking about um here i feel it could be talking about you can build yourself a home anywhere you choose probably before you thought i have to depend on my family i have to depend on something I have to assign myself, attach myself to a physical location, to a physical house, a physical apartment, a physical home, or a physical, like, or a community or a value system. But then you realize, I feel in this summer, what is amazing is you will realize, I don't need all this to tell me who I am. I don't need these to keep me surviving. I don't need these to prove to me anything i can create my community i can create my home anywhere i choose 
and I I feel this is so powerful because what the child wants and with the strengths, I feel like this is the adventure spirit itself, the adventure raw spirit itself. You are enough. All you have to do is to go on this journey. Um, not be afraid of anything that's on the way because that's a part of your journey. But I probably tonight I will be sleeping under a tree. Probably tomorrow, um, I can sleep in a hotel. Probably the day after tomorrow, I'll be sleeping at a friend's house. It doesn't matter because I am home myself. And I don't need to be attached to a physical burden because I really feel this is a burden. So I feel something in your life will be simplified and you will realize what you need is so little. Like before, probably you you thought you need uh, a lot of things like this, that, this, that. I have to need this, this, this. Um, And then this summer you'll realize, huh. Ah, Life is simple because I what I need is so little. All I need is water, food, and air, and sunshine, and I'll be living. So great. Um, and I feel this is the energy of eliminating and simplifying your life as well. I wonder if a lot of you, you were throwing out, you will throw out a lot of things in your life. Like a do a cleansing in your home, throwing a lot of stuff you don't use anymore. Because I really feel like Maybe you will do something around your house to s throw out a lot of old stuff. Um, and to be honest, I feel there is an energy of you separating from your home. So this could be applying to if you are a college student. No, yeah, if you're a college student, then you will graduate and then you will have to find a job to find your own apartment and start your own life. So you will be separated from the original life that that was attached to your parents to your family that sort of thing no matter how old you are this is the energy i'm getting so finally you uh, you claim independence the true independence not only financial independence but emotional independence like i don't have to be a part of a family or a community because I am a community. I am a family, even though I am only one. So there's a family unit, even though there's only one person currently in this family unit, but I am a unit myself. That's equal to any unit who has five people, three people, 10 people. I'm equal, I'm the same family unit. I take the same space, as large as any family unit that has three people or five people. I take the same space. This kind of independency. Um, and I feel what comes next is tremendous emotional fulfillment that you never imagined. Yeah. There is a sense of coming home, coming back to yourself. And lo just, you found a home within. This, this is the best feeling. Right? You, find, you will find a home within. So you don't have to, yeah, five of cups. Because, you know, anybody can let you down, but yourself can never let you down, right? Um, yeah, this is about this concept of home for group four. Very powerful, very powerful. A lot of Leo energy in this group. Um, and I feel this is very powerful. I feel this summer is only a beginning. You will see a lot of um, beautiful things in this summer. Because Child of Wands, there is a new beginning and there is this adventure spirit. So with the strengths, I feel you will see things that normally you, you cannot see. So probably you will go somewhere else to see these views, but it, this only contributes to your own journey. Yeah, so that's your reading group four. Thank you so much. And um, what a lovely reading. Well, welcome. <laughs> and um, thank you for watching. And personal reading information is down below in the description box. Comment, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.